Oh, what is this? Dude! Bro, no way! What are these? Oh my gosh! Dude, are, are these iguanas? What is going on, glorious people? It's your boy, the Iguana Man, back at you guys with another video. As you guys seen on my last video, it's been kind of cold, so not too many iguanas have been out. It's still cold, but it's like the sunniest part of the day right now. So there might be a chance, if any, to see some iguanas and possibly catch some right now. We are in a completely new area, as you guys can see. Everything is looking kind of cool, not seeing any fish or anything. But one thing that we are seeing is look at this right here. When I first seen this, I thought it was a piece of plastic or something like that. But upon further examination, you guys are seeing it right there. It's in fact a snake shed from what species, I don't know. Could be a water moccasin, could be a python, or it could just be a water snake. If you guys know, drop some comments. All right, so we have migrated a spot that has a little bit more structure. It's got some rocks. It's got this big old kind of sidewalk thingy. This is gonna offer a lot of warm habitat for these cold iguanas. Let's go on top here and see what else we can find. Sure. You can see there's actually a fish on that rock right there. That's kind of cool. I didn't even know there were rocks down there like that. Those things are massive. You can even spot that. There's actually a baby turtle right there on that rock. One right over there on that rock and a baby iguana right over there. I wonder what kind of species those are. I don't know, let's go get a close up. Try to get an angle where we don't spook them. Oh, they cleared it, they're smart. They're smart, oh my gosh. So if all these reptiles are on these rocks, there's gotta be a snake somewhere over here. We gotta be really careful though, y'all, because we are in water moccasin territory. Holy smokes, guys, this is perfect habitat for snakes. Look, even over there, there's more iguanas on the top of the lock. So, so far we've seen turtles, we've seen fish, we've seen iguanas. We haven't seen any snakes though. So hopefully we can get lucky, keep our eyes peeled, and hopefully find one. Oh, what is this? Dude! Bro, no way! What are these? Oh my gosh! Dude, are... Are these iguanas? What happened to them? Guys, look what we just found. Two iguana carcasses, but they're mummified. Look at that, there's, oh my gosh, hold on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they're mummified, y'all. It's insane, what? Look at this. Oh my goodness, there's only bones and skin. There's no flesh. Something must have bit them and killed them and they just died right here. I mean, I seriously doubt it was a gator or something like that because a gator would have probably just ate them. And it wasn't a bird because a bird would have just took them in the sky into their nest and devoured them. So I wonder what could have happened to these iguanas. It is possible they had a fatal interaction with one of these venomous snakes and it ended up costing them their lives. Look at this. Dude, the venom like totally mummified them and took all the flesh out. This is insane. We're gonna go ahead, gather these remains and do our autopsy and analysis. It's crazy, when you go exploring, you never know what you're gonna find, all right? You might discover a world record, you might discover an unknown species, or you might just discover something completely creepy out of the ordinary like we just did right here. Let's see if we can learn a little bit about the bone structure, the anatomy, the joints, and we're gonna try to understand a little bit more about how the iguana body actually works. You guys can see their teeth are pretty sharp and they're actually kind of facing backwards a little bit. So if iguana grabs you, I mean, with the powerful jaws, it's gonna be a pretty substantial bite, you guys. Um, they are serrated like arrows and like kind of like shark teeth as well. Okay, if you guys know shark teeth, you guys know what I'm talking about, but this is the jaw, this is the first piece. Let's see what other pieces are on this thing. The iguanas actually have more teeth on the back of their jaws. Now, not quite sure why, but I'm guessing it's just to help break up more plant material as it goes down the throat. 
because you see these teeth right here they can just do big chomps and you see it's like a c-shape you see that right there so if you were to get bit by an iguana it would be very similar to a shark bite you see that c-shape that's it right there but look at these teeth right here in the back of the throat those are i guess crushing teeth in the back of the throat and they will use that to further digest their food gosh this guy has been here for a while let's see if we can open it up all right as you guys see i opened up the ribs a little bit just want to show you guys the vertebrae look at that kind of similar to any other animal it's got different columns of the backbone going into some ribs let's take a look at these ribs right quick though okay and there's still a couple little maggots on it which is absolutely disgusting but this is all for the name of science so i don't care plus i got soap water and hand sanitizer in my car all right let's see if we can peel this iguana off out of his skin there we go look at this this right here my friends is the vertebrae ribs and the hips of an iguana look at this uh looking at it it looks very similar to like what us mammals have i mean it has like the ball and socket right there see that's that would be the socket and the two balls would be you know obviously the legs going in there which are not present i don't know why but you guys are seeing the structure of an iguana spine and its hip pelvic region. Look at this. It's pretty cool. So our first iguana, no legs, no arms, no tail, just the vertebrae, the head, the jaws, and the skin. Second iguana, this one is a lot smaller. Let's check this guy out. All right, well, it seems like he was going through a shed when he died. Okay, look at the legs right here. See that? Yeah, look at the leg. Look at the bone structure of the leg right here, you guys. What does that look like to you? Drop a comment and let me know, all right? It's something that a lot of you guys eat a lot. And it's something that I actually call the legs of iguanas when I'm cooking them myself. So what does that look to you? Drop a comment, let me know. Um, this guy is pretty similar. He's just a lot smaller. You guys can see the ribs poking out through the spinal column. The head, eyes are gone. Teeth are there. Lower jaw is missing, but this one has the tail right here, which we're going to try to see if we can oh, remove for you guys. And look how that break, look how that broke right there, right at the joint. So these, whoa, these iguanas right here, like when they're going to lose their tails, I think they just release it at the joint at the thin part. Like look at this right here. Look at this. Oh yeah. This right here is super, super, super fragile right here. It just came apart it's a very light light bone with what looks to be like cartilage around it so the iguana can just snap it if something grabs it and let it go but you know what's cool though right some of these iguanas can actually tell their tails to break like i don't know how that's possible that's like the iguana sending a message from his brain to his tail to release it right there that's insane i don't know how i don't know how that even makes any sense but that's just mind boggling. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at this tail. We had to break out some pliers. Let's see if we can cut through this. I don't have scissors, which would have probably made this job a lot easier. But let's just see if we can just grab it with the pliers. Look at that, that is insane right there, you guys. All those fibers. There we go, we got the tail. See if we can unsleeve it and take a better look at the structure of the bones. Yeah. All right, there we go. All right, there we go, you guys. We ended up getting the tail out. Check this out. 
Look how crazy that is. It's got like spikes going everywhere. On the top, on the bottom, on the sides. I'm guessing these are the big spikes that would go up and down if these are the ones on the side. And uh, usually all right here is full of muscles. They store all their extra fat and muscle. And try to get, you know, that's a real good sign to tell if an iguana is healthy is the condition of his tail. If his tail is really fat, that's a really good sign. That means he has a lot of reserves. That means he's healthy, he's eating, he's his body is metabolizing the food properly and efficiently and storing that fat and those extra calories in the tail just in case of hard times. Now if you see an iguana and it has a real bony tail, it's an obvious sign that that iguana is sick, all right? No, this was kind of a little different episode, but I wanted to bring you guys something scientific, something educational, and of course, something different. And we were just out here exploring and we found these two mummified iguana corpse. What I want you guys to do, comment down below, how do you guys think these iguanas died? Do you think they died from natural causes? Or from one of the many venomous snakes we have here in South Florida? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by giving it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new with that bell notification on. Well guys, it's the Iguana Man signing out. So until next time, just keep on catching.